Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad Shushin here, and today I am playing Space Engineers yet again. And today I was going to be working with Gravity, but my concept didn't exactly work out. So here I am showing you guys what I was trying to make. So you'll see quite a few things here. This is me trying to test it out, trying to get it to work, and you'll see a few variants here and there. What I was basically trying to do is I was trying to come up with a sort of uh, automatic rail system, whereas you can have a certain ship fly around a certain course guided by well gravity for one and secondly uh, a rail system so what I was trying to do is I was trying to make a rail system that would work out now this is the first one I ever came up with this is my first idea here and it uses a similar thing that allows a well anything else really to slide back and forth as you guys can see it's quite uh, tight in here and this worked kind of well until it got to the corner and this is where I tested all these to see whether or not they'd work because obviously going in a straight line isn't hard but trying to make it go around a corner is probably the most difficult thing I've actually come across now the main issue I keep running into is when this part here hits this corner instead of bouncing and turning the way it should do it instead tries to go the opposite way and I'll give you guys an example of that right now and I don't know whether that's a bug or whether that's actually just how physics would work in space. I, I feel it should operate differently and I'll give you guys an example of what I mean right now. Now, I, I am also doing this video because I have heard that uh, blocks, uh, sorry, a um, rail type of block will be coming out soon. And that would make these sorts of things so much easier. So here I am getting up to the corner and you'll got, you guys will see, if you keep, keep an eye on the... Uh, one on the left side of the screen, you'll see when it comes up to this little corner here, it'll bump. And oh, don't tell me it's going to go the right way now. I was going to say, every other time I've tested it, it goes the wrong way. I think I'm actually stuck here because I did also make this a little bit too tight. So that doesn't help me uh, in any real way. I can try and wiggle myself around and maybe, maybe, just maybe get out of it. But you can see slightly. That's actually start trying to go to the right here. Uh, what, what you guys saw was the left. So it's trying to go that way, which is not the way I want it to go. So I kind of thought, well, if that's not going to really work out, I think it's that one or maybe it's this one. I'm not sure what I actually did with this one. I think this one was just something I was like, eh, no, not going to work. Oh, uh, what did I do? No, this is the exact same one. Sorry. I thought that was um, the actual updated one. So this is probably the closest I actually got to getting to work, because I figured, you know, if it's going to rotate the wrong way, why not let it rotate whichever way it wants? So it kind of made a sort of like a wheel system here that kind of will keep itself locked in place, but also allow itself to actually rotate around. Now, I'm not saying this whole rail system isn't possible, it's just I haven't had the luck, and maybe because I've got a headache I haven't been able to think clearly, and who knows, maybe when I wake up tomorrow and you'll be like, ah, it's so clear to me now. Right now, I... <laughs> This thing has had me dumbfounded for at least three hours now. I've been trying to mess around, trying to get all these different things to work, and I haven't given the slightest. I did figure something out, um, though. If you want, if you want to have something that will not move in the slightest, spawn yourself a station block, and then move whatever it is right close to it, lock it in, and then whatever's locked in will never move at all, because station blocks will never move. So I, I figured that out. That was kind of a little PSA for you guys. Um, but yeah, so here I, I tried making this so it would rotate around, and admittedly this did kind of work until I tried going back over here, and maybe because it was still uh, the airtight lock where it's basically it's just lining up, it doesn't really work out well, and here I'll get in and I'll actually show you guys what I'm talking about. So it goes into the corner okay, and by okay I mean it actually, it you know, I, I guess you could say it works, but uh, you guys can see it's kind of dragging along here already because it's not really lined up. But if I come across to the corner here, this one should actually bounce itself actually in, in line. And you guys can see now that this can actually rotate around to keep itself, uh, to keep itself, you know, kind of guided in a way. I mean, it sparks a little bit, but there isn't that much damage, at least not to my knowledge. Now, if I'm correct, the second one, or the, the actual gears at the end, get stuck at some point, or they don't. No, there they go, they got stuck again. Uh, now, that's... Yet again another oh no, come on. You gonna get out of here? Come on. I know you wanna I know you wanna go. There we go. Okay, so now we've managed to get this thing onto the corner. 
But yet again, I, I think if I try to go back, I will show you guys how that doesn't actually work out. For whatever reasons, these, these keep rotating. I think I need to put some gyros on it. I don't think that'll fix whatever the problem is. But nonetheless, uh, they don't have power, so they shouldn't have actually stopped when I did that. Uh, there we go. So I'll go back. Actually, no, hang on. If I want it to go back without any breaking this, I'll actually get rid of this. And I'll show you guys uh, me taking you back in. So you guys could just imagine this actually going into a, a new corner here. So if I actually back this up, you guys will see that it shouldn't, at least, it, sh uh, at least it, it never did with me. Uh, it'll kind of just like lock up and if this was to be automated this would be such a big problem uh, Because it wouldn't be there for me to wiggle it around and I think I think now it's gonna go on crossways just because I wiggled it a bit <laughs> And this one here is getting stuck because uh, it started falling out of the bottom And like I said for an automated system this won't work out this will not even in the slightest uh, way work out I mean Yes and no, like, if you wanted your base or your thing to look extremely banged up because a few landing gears, you know, wrecked the place, and fine, go ahead and you can have yourself a rail system, but I don't like it when it doesn't work out that way I want it to work out, so that was another fail. And here was a little, well, I don't even know what to say about this. This is, this is me at the point of where I'm just throwing stuff together. I was going to swear then. Um, he's just throwing stuff together to see what I could really come up with, and yet again, no avail. So if you guys have a working rail system, let me know in the comment section down below and put it up on the workshop and I can have a look at it, and maybe tweak around with it and have fun. But right now, I am at a point where I can't figure out what to do, like, I want to get something that would work, but at the same time, I'm not exactly having much luck. There's been so many different things I've tried doing, I've, I've considered, like, so I sat here staring at this, I sat here staring at this, because I, I know I need this motor here. So I know I need it to rotate around because of the corners. But what up, what I should have up here, I still don't know. I was thinking maybe having a wider, a wider base here, maybe. But at the same time, whether or not that would actually do anything, because it would just leave it kind of floating around. What's actually behind here? Nothing. Are you, will you still be held on? Actually, hang on. It, it, this fixes my problem, I'll, I'll just cry alone something I don't know I'll I'll build this wall up here and then I'll get rid of the interior wall the only problem I see happening with that because the way that would work is that these landing gears here are simply used as a blocker to stop it from going up and down so it wouldn't really be used in any other whoops wrong key do, 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 do. and I, I can get rid of all all this along here and if I do that that does, like I said, allow for that little extra movement so it doesn't bang against anything. But that's not exactly... like, okay, it, it could work. I'm not saying it does, it won't work, but... I don't know, actually, I may have just figured out a solution for an idea that I did try before, that I didn't like trying before. But it might work regardless. So, here I am getting rid of these little walls here. And making it a little bit wider. So that, that might have just been the problem all along, was that it simply wasn't... Uh, Simply wasn't wide enough, so everything was going a little bit herpy derp derp and banging around and whatnot. So here, you guys can see that it wouldn't fall out above or below. Obviously, there would be a roof on this. I mean, well, you don't have to have a roof, but there would be if it was mine. And here we would have this go back. Hang on. I hate placing blocks. Like honestly, it's the one thing I'm never that because I'll spend. <laughs> At least 20 minutes sitting here thinking, which way should this rotate? There we go. We got the right rotation for once. Okay, oh, nope. And there and there. Okay, so that... Well, that was a little, uh, little bit trippy for you guys, probably. But uh, nonetheless... Well, once I have this bit done, that, that's good. Okay, so... This may work. Now, the one thing that was a little bit difficult was to get these poking out here. And what I did figure out is that you can actually make these wider by uh, just simply adjusting how it's built underneath. They're on this side as well, here. So maybe you might have to have a little bit thicker above and below, like over here as well. The only problem with, I can see happening with this is that this would grind along here and I wouldn't really like that. So then I considered having 
land gear above and below, and that still didn't work out. But let me try this out. I mean, this is this will simply just be floating. Uh, I like that. That's like because if I go down here, if I hold down, press down. Sorry, you guys can see that it kind of grinds. Actually, it's not really grinding at all. Are you seriously gonna do this to me, game? Like, I spent three hours trying to figure a solution, and then I start recording. It's like, hey, here's a solution now. Though I, I doubt it. When I come to this corner here. I, I think it's just so open that it's actually going to fall out. So here we have, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Definitely bouncing around a little bit too much. And that, that's another bad thing about having it so open, is that there's so much room for it to bounce around. And you'd have very, very little control. It's hard to see as well, because I don't want to see my green guy's crutch. Can you please get out of the crutch? Seriously, get out of the crutch. There we go. That's That's one thing I hate about the... The motors and it just it bends your uh, camera angle around. So, hang on, let me get out so I can actually see because I know I can't see anything. So you guys can see that it is still kind of. I didn't put a ceiling on this. My fault. Whoa, that's a bit of damage there. I think it got stuck through for a little bit. No biggie. We'll just quickly punch that up. Um. So I don't know, maybe this will work if I spend a little while maybe working on this idea where it has still has the rotating bits, but it has a little bit wider so it gives it a little bit more leeway. But I don't like that because, I, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to me. It just feels too loose and has too many variables that... It just, it just feels eh to me. So anyways, I've rambled on long enough and I'll let you guys work with that concept or, uh, you know, yourselves and see what you guys come up with. Though, like I said, I would like to see rails in this game, and I'm pretty sure when someone put out a video the other week about it, I'm pretty sure someone... So no, there was a screenshot of rails that were put into the game, though they were only as images, so they didn't actually function in any real way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to just fire off around in a way to say, screw you physics, not working the way I wanted you to. So, let's actually, let's do this differently, actually. Let, let me... That wasn't what I was meant to do. Let's go back here, dampen it off, and this will pull itself all the way back, and it should release the round into my face. As wrong as that sounds. Maybe. <laughs> let's go over here and let's land, and let's just wait. That's such a cool view, I have to admit, just seeing that thing come toward the wall. Seeing the uh, cannon over there, you'll see the shell come, and it'll be a massive explosion. And everything. Well, I mean, if it comes. I love the skybox, by the way. I've had so many people ask about where to get the skybox, and it's in the description, guys. Every single video I've had up now with different skyboxes, the skybox link is in the description. That's what this thing is. That's the skybox. Are you going to shoot at me, game? Uh, cannon? I'm just going to take your time? You're taking your time, aren't you? I'm going to have to come over there. By the time I come over there, you're going to fire the thing, and all hell's going to break loose. Am I right? Yep, thought so. Whoa, oh, well, all health did break loose. Hey, stone. Bye, stone. That there is the stone of destiny. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.